Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can issue refunds inside of Stripe. So to start, we first want to be on the Stripe website like I am here and you just want to head into the dashboard which we can find in the top right corner. So go ahead and click on that and that will take us to this page here. Now from here, since we're trying to refund, we're going to look for the payments tab which we can find up in the top left corner next to home. So click on that and here you will see all the orders that you have. Now, because I'm on a test account, you can just see one test order. But the way to do this, if this was legit, is to first find the customer that you want to refund. So if you were running an actual store, you would have tons of orders here if you were actually getting orders. And so you first want to select the customer that you want to refund. So in my case, I'm just going to choose this one because it's the only one I have. But in your case, you want to make sure you're selecting the right one. So once you've done that, as you can see, a little option appears here to refund. So we can go ahead and click on that. As you can see, refunds take 5 to 10 days to appear in a customer statement. Stripe's fees for the original payment won't be returned, but there are no additional fees for the refund. So since it will take 5 to 10 days, you might want to let the customer know and just tell them that you tell them that you have refunded them, but it will take some time for it to actually appear in their bank account so that they're not worried. So what you want to do is select the reason for why. So you can choose either duplicate order, fraudulent order, requested by customer or other. So let's just say the item was out of stock, I'd choose other and I'd say item out of stock. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and click refund. And once that's done loading, that product will successfully have been refunded and the money will go straight back to the customer within five to 10 days. So as you can see, one refund created and that is now done. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you successfully managed to issue refunds yourself on Stripe. If you did, please comment down below to say that it helped you out. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.